to three. In this video, we want to share some of our favorite camping and fishing spots around Auckland with you. Now, did you know that despite being New Zealand's largest city, Auckland has a fantastic range of beautiful regional parks and other campgrounds close by that are also perfect fishing locations. We lived in Auckland for nearly a decade and we spent most of our weekends fishing at these stunning spots. Now, are you ready? Let's start from the south. Our first camping and fishing spot is the incredible Tapapa Kanga Regional Park near Kawakawa Bay to the southeast of Auckland. This has always been our favorite spot. Back in the days, you could still camp here with camper vans and motorhomes right by the water. But nowadays, this is reserved for tent camping only. The campground is an ideal base for surf casting and kayak fishing. And we caught many good snapper here. So guys, we are at Tapapa Kanga Regional Park. It's not too far from Kayawa. We also got some mussel farms to fish at. Behind me is the water and just down there, that's the campsite. You camp right next to the water. With a kayak, you just have to paddle straight out for a few hundred meters to get over some good snapper grounds. Or you can paddle around the corner to the left to the Oriri Point Reef, which is always a good spot. So guys, this here is Oriri Point. It's just around the corner from Te Papakanga. Out there in the distance is the reef marker. And that's a really good fishing spot. If you have a kayak, you can actually paddle from Te Papakanga, from the regional park campsite, directly out to this reef. If you're fishing land-based, you can also drive here. And there's some good land-based fishing off the beach here as well. Today is Saturday. Fairly good weather, so it's quite busy here. Just around the corner over there is one of my favorite spots to fish at here around Auckland, Kawakawa Bay. Let's have a look down to the campsite. This campsite is awesome. There are actually two campgrounds here at the Papakanga. Uh, so you, when you book, you've got to make sure you pick the right one. There's one by the beachfront, and then there's another one all the way up on the hill. I think that's more suitable for motorhomes and so, but if you camp up there, up there by the hill, you might have nice views, but it's Quite a long steep walk down to the water so if you come here for fishing you don't want to camp up so far away from the water up on the hill so make sure you pick the right one when you make a reservation here so as you can see over there it's a really nice camping space especially for you guys who have a tent check out this nice large grassy area here for tent camping you got all those cool benches here and uh, you know toilets and everything you need really good spot for basic camping really you guys imagine coming back from a day out kayaking there or surf casting and then you're just sitting here in the evening by your tent having this fantastic view eating a fresh snapper how much better can it get i see all the pohutukawa trees over there that's what i really like about this park as well there's just those beautiful pohutukawa trees everywhere so the beach behind me is somewhat rocky but the rocks aren't extending very far and then it's just sandy beach afterwards Best time would be a low tide in the evening to fish off the beach here, so you don't get snagged up in the rock. A little bit further out to the point. It's also a really nice sandy beach for swimming, of course. Lots of walking and hiking tracks here as well. If you want to have a break from fishing, you know, you can walk out to these farm walks and so on, which are really cool. Now from the regional park, it's also only a short drive to the Kayawa Mussel Farm, another very popular spot for kayak fishing or for launching small boats. If you drive back a few kilometers to either Oriri Point or Kawakawa Bay, you have a lot more options for land-based and boat fishing. Kawakawa Bay has a fantastic boat ramp available. It used to be my favorite place for kayak fishing. You can also go to the fairly new Waikawa Regional Park, which sports a fantastic fishing wharf. So at the moment we're at the White Tower Regional Park. It used to be one of our favorite wharfs around Auckland to fish at. Really busy these days probably because it's a weekend. We caught quite a few snapper here. It's also a good spot to target kingfish. When we first moved to Auckland, uh, this wasn't a regional park. You had to walk along the shoreline on low tide from Kawakawa Bay to come out to this jetty. At some stage then, this jetty was in a bad state and it got closed. And then a few years later, they opened the regional park and restored the jetty. So it's available for fishing again. You can only camp here if you have a self-contained camper. 
but otherwise it's only a short drive from your campsite at Tapapakanga and well worth a visit if you like wharf fishing. A good chance to catch kingfish and snapper off this wharf. Let's give that a try, it looks pretty good. What a nice view out here, Jesus. That's what I love about camping and fishing, huh? Cheers. All right guys, let's head to our next fishing spot. Let's head over to the west coast and check out one of the wildest and probably most stunning campgrounds close to Auckland. This place feels very remote and you could almost think you're somewhere on the South Island rather than only 40 minutes drive from Auckland. Fatipu is located right at the entrance to the Manukau Harbour. It is a very hilly and steep drive with the last 10 kilometers narrow gravel road. It is quite amazing that such a place exists so close to Auckland. It is a little bit of a walk from the car park to the beach, about 15 minutes walk, maybe less. And Haitian is today dressed as the White Wizard, featuring Haitian Park as the White Wizard. <laughs> there are lots of walking tracks too. You can walk over those hills and really far into the White Takari Ranges. A really cool area here actually. At the end is a tranquil little campground equipped with composting toilets, cold showers and a picture perfect views. This is the ideal base for setting up camp and exploring the various rock fishing and surf casting options at the harbor entrance. It is only a 15 minute walk from the campground to the water, uh, but be aware that it gets pretty crowded on weekends, so you have to come early to secure your rock spot. Otherwise, you can walk further along the beach to find a good surf casting spot there. The harbor entrance is a great spot to target big kawaii, kingfish and snapper. Lots of water and current flow through here and you need to fish with fairly heavy gear and sinkers. Murray Wai is our second camping and fishing spot on the west coast of Auckland. So we're now at Murray Wai at the main car park just behind the campground. Let's have a look what the beach looks like. This part of Mary Wai is always very busy. Lots of surfers in this area. Over there, probably most famous rock fishing spots around Auckland. Uh, those rocks are really dangerous. If there's a swell, the water washes over those rocks and people have died there. So you have to pick a calm day to fish off those rocks. A couple of fishers out here at the moment. Uh, it's in the middle of the day. It's probably better to fish here early mornings, late evenings, I would think or during the best fishing times. There's a really cool gannet colony out there. Make sure you always familiarize yourself with safety equipment that's available. And of course, check the tide times. You don't want to get stranded out here uh, with an incoming tide. But uh, if you follow all those safety tips, then this is actually a really good rock fishing spot out here. So the Murray White Beach extends all the way to the entrance to the, of the Kaipara Harbor. Fishing here in this area is probably not a good idea because of all the surfers and swimmers. So if you wanted to fish off the beach, you would want to go a little bit further. And we're going to do that soon. We're going to take our car and drive down to the other end of the beach, a little bit further north, to see what the surf casting is like there. So the strong currents at this beach can always be a problem when you're fishing because strong currents will tangle your line quite a lot. So when you're fishing or surf casting out here, you want to probably fish in an area where there's not too much of a strong current. So if you have a four-wheel drive, you can come out a little bit further uh, where there's some four-wheel drive beach access to Murray Wai. And right now we came down to this end. It's called the Ocarito Stream. Uh, this is quite a popular area for fishing as well. Kite fishing, drone fishing, surf casting. If you find those deeper channels that run along in parallel to the beach, that's where you want to fish. So the best time to come out here would be low tide to suss out the area and find those channels and then you can just surf cast into those channels. Or if you got a drone or something like that, you can get out a little bit further, maybe 300 meters or so, 
And if you're man enough and if you're really comfortable with your four-wheel drive, you can drive all the way out to the Kaipara Harbor on low tide, of course. Otherwise, you might not make it if the tide's coming in. There are a few spots where you can actually park your vehicle in a safe spot so you could stay over high tide there. But you got to know what you're doing and you got to know this beach a little bit to get out there with your four-wheel drive. It is a dramatically wild west coast beach and has everything you need for a great camping and fishing trip. The campground is perfectly located behind the dunes and from here you can walk to the beach in the evenings for surf casting. Well, one of the reasons we think that Muriwa is a great spot for camping and fishing is because, well, there's a really nice campground here. Let's have a look. As you can see here, the campground in Muriwai is just right next to the beach, basically. You've got some really nice elevated campsites and uh, lots of grassy spots here. It's quite a large area as well. There are also some cabins for rent. Another good spot between Muriwai and Fatipu is Pia. There's also a nice campground and this beach offers some good surf casting when the conditions are calm. So guys, this here is the campground at Piha. A really nice campground, as you can see, lots of grassy areas here. Just a short walk from here to the beach as well. Another really good camping and fishing spot in Auckland. Piha is probably one of the most iconic beaches on the west coast of Auckland. Always quite busy here. You still find some nice places to camp here. And you can always walk around the rocks to the left to fish off some ledges. Although this can be very difficult and dangerous when the sea is rough. Now personally, we prefer Muriwai for fishing. Pia is definitely worth a visit though. And besides the fishing, this is also an incredibly beautiful beach for relaxing and surfing. Well, this over there is the southern end fishing spot, rock fishing spot here in Pia. It's good on an incoming tide, but there are lots of surfers in the water. So you don't really want to fish there when there are so many surfers in the water around the rocks. We really wanted to fish today, but the sun has been burning down mercilessly the whole day. We got sunburn already and we're really tired. So we have to give up on our fishing today in order to show you guys all those fishing spots. Better head off to the east coast and fish there tomorrow. All right, now let's head back again to the east coast. We travel further north over the harbor bridge and to the end of the Fanga Parua Peninsula. Here you can find the greatest of all regional parks, the Shakespeare Regional Park. It's a fishing and camping dream come true. Campground is large and well looked after with lots of soft grass, perfect for camping, and it's located right behind the dunes. Ideal spot to launch kayaks here. You can also walk to the rocks at low tide or surf cast from the beach directly. Now this has always been one of my favorite spots for kayak fishing. The glassy conditions today, an ideal day for kayak fishing. Now this beach becomes quite unfishable when there's a southerly wind, because this beach is facing towards the south. Then you can come over here to the other side, it's only a very short drive. This is Army Bay, here's a boat ramp, so that gets quite busy with boaties. You can launch a boat here easily and camp up in Shakespeare Park. Also ideal for kayak launching here. You just have to paddle around the rocks basically. There's a really cool reef and uh, lots of structure, lots of seaweed. Really good squid fishing spot. So when you fish here out of a kayak, I usually just went straight out from here, maybe a kilometer into deeper water or just around the rock. Out by those rocks at low tide is also a very good rock fishing spot. You can walk out to those rock platforms and fish out from there. Campsite is just behind me. We're gonna have a quick look there. This here is the campsite right next to the water. I used to camp right here with my van back in those days. It's a really beautiful and large campsite. Antisocial behavior will not be tolerated. Offenders will be removed. There you have it, guys. Don't offend anyone here. Yeah? Out there is a beautiful view of Rangitoto Island. Just out there in the distance you can see Auckland Sky Tower. On top of that you've got a whole range of really nice walking trails along those headlands here. We're at the end of the uh, Shakespeare headland now. That is Little Barrier Island. That there is Great Barrier Island. 
Tiritiri Matangi Island, the small one over there, out in the distance, Coromandel. All the iconic Auckland islands are right here at your fingertips. When I was still living here in Auckland and came out here fishing a few years back, this actually was not pest free and now it's pest free. So you, you're not allowed to bring any dogs or anything into this regional park and it's all fenced off all around. So give all the native birds a chance to recover here. Sort of as an extension to Tiritiri Matangi uh, Island, which is also a pest free island and all the native birds are still there and you can take a ferry over there or your boat and have a wander around on the island and see lots of native bird species there. It's quite cool, especially being so close to Auckland. Just some amazing native uh, New Zealand bush around here. Such an incredible spot out here. You have all these beautiful views, the opportunity to do some fantastic hiking around the headland here. And of course, last but not least, the fishing is incredibly good especially if you got a kayak, but also for land-based fishing. Now guys, remember, we only show you our personal favorite camping and fishing spots in this video, but we would also love to hear your favorites. And if this video has been useful so far, then why not smash that like button and help us grow this channel. All right, guys, Mahurangi is our next fishing spot. It's probably the most visited regional park by kayak fishers. Now, this bay is ideal for launching kayaks and because it is so sheltered, it will be fishable on most days, except when there is a strong northerly wind blowing. Are you feeding fish tonight with the mussels? Let's tell you, cast our mussel bait. It's eaten right away. Big bite, but doesn't hook anything. Well, we keep trying. During the weekdays, this is a perfectly calm, peaceful campground, uh, ideal, next to the water's edge. But on a weekend, you are hard-pressed to find a parking spot here, let alone get a campsite without long reservation. Now, despite its ever-growing popularity, it's still a great camping and fishing spot. So camping and fishing at Maurangi Bay is absolutely awesome, but holy mother of God. I was gonna go for a kayak this morning. There are at least 100 kayaks out there. Looks like a kayak fishing club arrived. It's a Saturday morning, so preferably don't go fishing here on the weekend. Not only for kayak fishing, but also for rock fishing. As on low tide, you can walk to a place called Pudding Island and you have a great land-based fishing spot at your fingertips. I used to camp and fish here a lot. The only downfall for me these days is that there's hardly any mobile reception here. And it's pretty hard to live without your mobile these days, right? So there's also a cool walk-in uh, and boating campsite for tents around the headland. Walk over the hill to get there. And this is a great option if you like a slightly more remote camping experience, right? And who doesn't? We used to load up our kayak with all our camping gear and then we pedaled around from Maurangi to that little campsite. Pretty nice. Right. So this over there is Pudding Island. Quite a few kayakers out here at the moment. There's a nice looking point over there at Saddle Island on the right hand side. On the northern side, there's our reef. I'm controlling my lures. Not a single bite so far. I'm starting to feel hungry, so maybe the bite time is on. You know? Our human body might also respond to bite times. Who knows? I made myself some nice sandwiches in the morning. Well, all I could find in the fridge this morning was some cheese and tomato sauce. That's what we got here, so yeah. While I eat, I'm just gonna drop my micro jig. Well, just as I was eating my second uh, sandwich, got a nice bite here on the micro jig again, and I think this time we got a keeper actually. Oh, yeah. oh, everything at once, eating, phone call. Well, well, it's really, really slow going here at Maurangi today. I got two fish in the bin. Good legal size eating, but... Now, those are our top camping and fishing spots around Auckland. But wait, there is one more, guys. But this one deserves a whole video on its own. So make sure you subscribe to get an update on this. 
And in the meantime, if you're prepared to travel just a little bit further, then you really need to have a look at this video up here, guys. I remember we spent a lot of time in Christmas Day and New Year's Day camping up there, our tent in the car, with memory of Oakland. <laughs>